Welcome back to Sociocaster's video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Sociocaster's extension feature. By using this feature, you can easily grab any shareable content from anywhere in the internet. Let's get started. First, open Sociocaster's content page on your account dashboard. There is a tab titled Extension. Open it by clicking the tab. You'll find a button to download the extension from your browser's store. Sociocaster currently supports Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Click the Download button to open the extension on the browser's store. If you are on Google Chrome, then you'll be redirected to Google Chrome Web Store. Or, if you are on Mozilla Firefox, then you'll be redirected to Firefox add-ons. In this demo, we'll use Google Chrome as an example. Install the extension by clicking Add to Chrome or Add to Firefox button on the browser's store. Confirm your installation and you'll be redirected to Installation Success page. Now you have Sociocaster's icon on your browser menu. There are three ways to use the extension. Let's start from the icon on the browser menu. You can easily grab the Active Tabs URL by clicking the icon. Sociocaster's Post Creator pop-up will appear on the Active tab, so you can easily share, schedule, or save the URL by using the pop-up. You must have an active login session to use the Share function. For example, we want to schedule this active URL. Second, you can easily grab any fascinating image that you found on any site while browsing the web by clicking Sociocaster's Share This button. Hover the image to show the button. Click the button and the pop-up will appear on the Active tab. You can use the pop-up to share, schedule, or save the image. The third way to use the extension is with Facebook. The extension will add Sociocaster's Share button to every single post item on Facebook, so you can easily grab the post content by clicking that button. If you found something interesting on your timeline, just click the button and Sociocaster Share Post pop-up will appear. If for some reasons you want to disable one of the extension's features, you can do so by doing these steps. Open the extension's option page. Right-click the icon on the browser menu. Then click Options from the drop-down. You'll be redirected to the extension's option page. On this page, you can either enable or disable the extension's features. After you've made some changes on the page, don't forget to click Save button before you close the page. And that's it. Now your extension will behave according to the new settings. Okay, that's everything you need to know about Sociocaster's extension features. I hope you enjoy using Sociocaster. See you on the next video tutorial. Cheers!